first of all, sensational transformation. What is it about this love story that has all of us all invested, all in? <laughs> well, they were all in, I guess. Yeah. You see that. You can recognize that. They were in, um, for sure. Um, but yeah. yeah, I think it's, well, look, it, it's such a whirlwind story, right? It's, it's just so crazy the way it, it all happened, seemingly, for them. You know, the fact that they met and then they just... They went to Mexico and four days later they were married. Funny enough, that's what how Tommy's parents got married and within meeting within four days. So it's interesting to kind of, but um, and then and then this whole thing happened to them before they even had a chance to process it, mm -hmm. you know, and um, they were trying to be parents and they were trying to have a family. And, you know, they were dealing with something that none of us will really know, uh, know about ultimately, but uh, we're exploring those those questions now. Uh, both of y'all's transformations were remarkable. You, Lily, when I heard you were going to play her, I was like, okay, I can <laughs> see it. I'm not sure. Then the picture. You and the rest of the world. <laughs> I went bananas. What did it feel like to be Pamela Anderson? You were her. The brows. If the brows could speak, my love. Uh, the brows are great. And I have like such big brown brows that I was really concerned with that. I was like, what do I do without my brows? Um it was it was just this amazing quite a big old journey with this ha the hair and makeup team who are extraordinary Barry and David and Mo and Abby my girls every day and it was like I was getting in the chair at like 3 30 in the morning and it would take four hours and but it was just and then I'd worked really hard physically before with a great trainer to try and get athletic and strong and the whole thing it was just um it was so necessary and needed because <laughs> and it felt really um it was great to disappear in, in inside of um, this transformation. What did it feel like to give her up, to not be Pamela? I think she'd be hard to give up. Yeah, it was kind of a sad day. <laughs> yeah, I am full from grace. <laughs> Sebastian, your transformation into Tommy. Did you always play the drums or did you learn the drums even for this as well? No, I didn't. I, I, no, I didn't. I had called a friend who I knew, um, this really, really talented teacher here in LA and, uh, and, and about, uh, it really started about three months before. Um, and just, yeah, just went in there trying to get as much as possible. Um, and I kept telling them to try to like punt the scenes, uh, that we had to shoot to, to as late as possible so I could have enough time, but it's not, I am not going to be the, the greatest drummer of all time from, from three months, so. It was incredible. My favorite scene, or one of them, and Sebastian, I don't know if I can call it a monologue, but there's a scene with your manhood, and it's not a monologue because it's talking back. Did you ever think in all of your acting repertoire that you would have to shoot a scene like that? How did, you, how did your scene partner react? How did he do? You'd have to ask um, the, <laughs> the four men that operated him <laughs> that, that stood loyally behind me <laughs> and looked bravely into the light. <sighs> once more, dear friends, <laughs> once more, you know. Um, How did but, you but rehearse for it? What it was, was rehearsals well, like? Well, well Craig, you know, our director, Craig Gillespie, he was amazing, right? And like he always has somehow like the one idea of, of how to get into a scene that you haven't thought mm. of, you know? And, and, and he was like, look, like, this is like, you're confessing to a buddy, you know, that, that, that you're, that you're in love and, and, and you're feeling and you're, you know, you're making this decision. Is this going to be the woman of your life, you know? And that's when it was happening. So um, just kind of took my cues off of that. <laughs> confessing to your best buddy. Mm -hmm. uh, Lily, you had said, which I love in all the articles or any uh, role that you've taken on, that you try to find something similar within yourself with that character. What were the similarities with Pamela's real life? Well, I guess you just try and find how you can relate and how you can draw on your own truth and your own experience. And, and the, there's places that are a bigger stretch or you, you know, but it's this weird feeling where you start feeling similar <laughs> or you start beginning to really understand, I guess that's empathy. And, um, and so, and finding what you, you're the kind of humanity in it that feels transcends all the circumstances. And, and, um, and, and we were looking at, at, at Pamela at this very specific time, 
um, and really she she was already this huge star from Baywatch, Baywatch but the start of her career and she'd you know grew up in Canada and came to America she's it's like there was so much ahead of her and so um, it is fascinating how more than you think you begin to like um, recognize how you're similar which is bizarre to say out loud <laughs> but yeah Sebastian what was it like for you the first time you saw Lily as Pamela Listen, I, I it, 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 look, it definitely, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it made me blush. What do you want me to say? Like, I can't even, like, we, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I had a, look, all I can say is I had a, I had a front seat to, to this great, ama amazing transformation. And, and it was really um, amazing to go to work with her every day and, and yeah, to likewise. be able to take the scenes apart and to just kind of mm. like, and just to have that trust and have someone opposite you that's just it's just trying to find the most authentic mm. possible raw moment y y you can and mm. you know that's kind of what you want and uh because it's it's always about a give and take so mm. yeah well, chemistry on screen fantastic i can tell just interviewing what was your first impression of one another because you'd never worked together before right no no um, lily first impressions of <laughs> Well, I was so excited to work with him and I, I know his work and I, and I, uh, I felt like I felt you always feel sort of nervously excited to get to work with someone new and see what the energy is going to be like in the connection, the way you work. And I would say with Sebastian, he's so challenging. He challenges you in the best possible way you could dream of as an actor, because he's so instinctive and impulsive. And I really feel like you really do feel like you made me a lot better. And you're always like pushing for the unexpected and the brave choices. And the, <laughs> it's just really, and so for this, when we were already stretching ourselves so hugely playing different people, it felt nice to, for it to feel really alive and, yeah. you know, it was, and yeah, it was great. <laughs> Y'all are cute, blows blushing when you talk to like this. Well, it's oh. weird complimenting someone when you're right next to them is a strange thing it's a good exercise <laughs> lily i know you didn't hear from pamela um sebastian did we hear from tommy did anything about your portrayal because i think you guys did such a good job with also the vulnerability like what happened to them being robbed i think y'all really handled and showed all of all encompassing all of what really went down have you heard from tommy uh, thank you i mean i think i think that was the goal is just trying to you know again find the best way possible to to tell the story from their point of view which we'll never truly know but but i did reach out to him just to introduce myself and just to say hey i you know uh this is my, i'm sebastian i'm playing you and um <laughs> I'm here, you know, and, and, and he was very kind about it and, 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 you know, uh, responsive and, and I was grateful for that. Um, Lily, did you keep the red bathing suit because the run was spot on, please say yes. No, I, I asked to, and they said, no, I should have just snuck it in my handbag, but no, don't have it. Although I would never wear it. Let's be honest. Uh, yes, you <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? It was it's in Malibu <laughs> over the weekend. Never no, say never. I'm getting it for you. Oh, glory oh. days. 